blush is frazzling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I just love to you and welcome you to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support. Um, being able to, you know, take that time out for yourself to be able to look at things in a totally different light for a positive impact for your life is truly a blessing. So you keep doing that for yourself. So um, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when you girls about to upload your next video also if you uh if you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if you um if you feel like the video gave you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now and they need confirmation and validation towards their sole purpose, or even, you know, if they're on the right path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share with your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, today, my uh, meditation music I'm using in the background is called Boost Positive Energy. Remove negative thoughts and emotions. Deep Healing Binarial Beats. And I will post that link in the description of the box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, you never cheat yourself at a new beginning because you, you deserve happiness you do you know it's just like sometimes when we are placed in certain situations and it can seem hectic and you know it's already scary when you're not seeing where that situation or even the road that you're on or a path that you're on is going to take you that's scary because people we always fear the unknown you know we want to have faith in the universe and you know what god has planned for us creator whatever see fit you know is having us go towards and you know at times we, we in our human form you know we it's not like you want to doubt where they're trying to take you um it's just like when you don't understand where your path is taking you what what you need to do it can get hard at times and you know there's some people that get frustrated and they just say i give up but you should never do that never give up on anything that you can't go a day without thinking about if you need to take a break go ahead and take a break but when you're going through things you know there's a reason for you going going through these things there's a situation of the lesson you need to learn from where you are placed at, at that time you know it's always the mind timing on why you know you try to speed yourself up there's times i've done that or feel like oh my god this is too late or can i still do this it's never too late for you to start over in a different mindset saying you know what today i'm gonna go about it in a positive way i know you know things i can't change i get frustrated with but you know it's, it's you know it's human nature for us getting frustrated when there's things we can't change but we shouldn't indulge in negativity or things you cannot change at that moment because obviously if they have to have you wait you never know what's in store down that road but they need you to have to go through that that path of knowledge of strength of, you know wisdom patience faith they take you through that whole situation for you to gain all these things for you to be able to take on to your new chapter of your life you know i i can really look at my situation and say that has changed me in so many different ways you know how i've been motivated there's times where i mean i've been tired like right now i don't sit up here and been doing videos like two three days straight and it's like really draining me but i love what i do you know it doesn't seem tedious to me it doesn't seem like oh god i gotta do another video today i don't feel that way you know if i'm tired i take that break you know i take that time out for self-care but it's like i'm I love doing that, being able to put that positive vibe towards somebody's life, but let them know no matter how hard that road might be, you're on, to, you're on that road towards blessings, you know, you might not be where you want to be at right now, but if you know you're working hard, grinding constantly, you know, putting your, your spiritual gift to work, you know, using it to help yourself as well as others. Yeah, it might take you a minute to get there, but you know you're working towards something. You know, even though you might not get it right now, 
you can, it still gives you that time to improve yourself. And I always got to tell myself that even though I'm not where I want to be right now, I'm improving myself. I'm looking at things in a different light. You know, yeah, it might be scary. It might be frustrating because I'm still here. But obviously, if I'm still in a certain situation, there's stuff I still need to learn about myself or how I'm approaching things or even how my mindset is calculating at that time. Because it's just like there's times you can be in a really tough situation. You constantly see and stuff that is just like really working your last. <laughs> you know, it can be like, oh, God, this is really working on my nerves, this and this and that. Yeah, it might get on your nerves, but that that lesson that you're, you know, there's a lesson with the things that that situation is taking you, you know, and I can be very appreciative, you know, appreciative with the situation I'm placed in, being able to know this situation has taught me so much, I've grown, you know, I, I can constantly hear my mom and my dad and them tell me so how do you do, and you know, you're really getting it, you're understanding why you had to go through that thing, you know, being able to take my power back, not, not just going through that mindset of playing that victim role, um, being able to know even though there's hard times, there also are some joyous times, you know, not every day is a positive one, but not every day is a negative one either, but it has brought me a lot of peace and understanding towards a lot of things, yeah, I cry, you know, who doesn't? You know, you've gone through things, and there's times I feel emotionally and mentally drained. And, you know, I don't want to give up. You know, and I tell people, you know, I have to tell my daughter, yeah, I hate what I go through. But the most, you know, other than having them, the most positive thing I have is my videos that knowing the things that I've gone through, the things that I've achieved, and things I failed at, is helped somebody see a different view of their life. And knowing, even though trouble waters are there, but you're going to make it and see that sunshine. You know, you have to be able to learn how to dance in the rain sometimes for you to be able to appreciate that light. You know, when we, a lot of times we take certain situations for granted, you know, and then all of a sudden when whatever that is is taken out of our lives, we tend to miss that. You know, you can sit up here like, prime example, you know, you're just doing things, you know, leave and all the lights on and all of a sudden y'all have a storm I know people have had that before where their, their power been knocked out I've been where I'm at in Georgia I remember it was knocked out for like a day and a half one time and I'm like oh lord you know thinking about oh you know you take for granted the things that you need that electricity for you know but my house is all electric <laughs> so it's just like you know if I want to cook I can't cook if I want to heat up some food I can't do that if I want to play on my phone you got to be very careful with that because you're going to lose power off of it you know I want to get on my my videos can't do that because I know I'm going to lose power off of that so there's a lot of things that will be placed in your life and then when you take that for granted they tend to take it away you know then you'll start seeing it just like if you're going through a situation where people have always took you for granted of always being there and then when you finally when they didn't appreciate you and you took yourself out of their equation and it's that you know what many blessings to you deuces and i'm gonna let you handle yourself on your own then all of a sudden when you're gone they'll be like dang you know that person really you know really was you know for me they had my back and i you know i treated them like crap and all of a sudden, they're not here. No, no longer here. They're living a good life. While well, I'm still sitting up here doing my little thing and ain't moved nowhere. You know, it happens like that. You know, that's when, you know, karma steps in you, when you deal with karma. But it's just the fact you should never second guess that there's going to be positivity. Even though you might experience so much heartache, so much pain, so much being in that dark place. Believe there will, will be happiness somewhere down the road if you just give yourself that chance. And there was a lot of times, you know, I, I cried because of the situation I'm in and seeing all the things that I've lost along the line of this tragedy, being able to endure. You know, there's memories that pop up that's very hurtful of what, you know, I've endured with family members and, you know, having to heal off of that. You know, that was hard to do. That was a hard pill to swallow. But it's just like when I can see the situations I've been placed in or even from my wrong decisions, you know, um, being placed in certain situations um, has really brought me a lot of blessings out of those setbacks, out of those mistakes and failures. I, I've got a lot of blessings off of that because I learned, you know, something was positive that popped in my life and I truly learned off of that. So it's just like, you know, we can never rush divine time even though it's so badly you want these things in your life 
but you have to be able to trust in the divine you know be able to trust in the creator to know that they, they got your back they're not sending you you know they're telling you know you might get mad like dang you know they're making me you know get all these people out of my life maybe they weren't true to you you never know they could have been those those type of people that kick key in your face and then we talk about that bad about you you know behind your back praying for your downfall so universe showed those spotlights of people that you know weren't healthy for you in the first place because you never know what they did when they weren't around you you know and a lot of people that you hang around if they talk about a lot of people who's to say when they're around those people they're not doing the same with you so it's just like a lot of things we have to really step back and really look at it and then just say you know even though you're in a situation where it might be just painful trust me i know being able to see people living a good life and knowing I was robbed of a lot of things in my life while they, you know, they're still lollygagging around with the information they got. Yeah, that's hurtful. That's really hurtful. But, you know, no telling what God has in store for me. You know, I be patient. I truly believe that, you know, I can talk about you until you're blue in the face, but you'll end up exposing yourself, you know, for the little stuff that you've done in the dark. You know, that's that's all well and good. And I'm going to still be doing me, pushing out positivity and love. You know, I ain't going, like I said, I don't push no ill will on anybody. There there was times that I did do that with them. Wanted them to pay for everything that they put me through. And now it's just like, pray for them and see how prayer works for you in your favor. I tell other people that are going through abusive relationships with their spouses. They talk down to them, make them feel like they're beneath them. Pray for them. And you step back and let nature do its work. And you'll see how they got your favor. It might not seem like they got your favor now because they're allowing these things to happen. And it, it can be really hurtful. It can be really, you know, draining emotionally and mentally and spiritually. It'll make you question your faith on the things that you tend to go through. I've questioned my faith, you know, for the things that I've gone through. But then when I can say no longer am I going to allow these people to take my power that is rightfully mine. You don't took everything else. You know, but my, my 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 sanity, my love for myself, you know, where I'm trying to push out, that's one thing you're not going to take from me. You know, you have to really think about that to yourself because you deserve that happiness. I deserve my happiness. No matter what people think I deserve, you can't make that, that, that request for me because you wouldn't want nobody doing that for you. But people don't think about it that way. But you, you need to not, you know... Uh, teach yourself on starting your new journey in your life. That's why you had to go through the spiritual awakening anyway for you to be able to get on that right path to guide you towards that way. You know, yeah, you, you know, it's a learning experience. Every step you take, you learn something different. So take heed in the things that's been placed in your life and knowing they can really take you a long way. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content in this video. I hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share. Drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. I'm going to give a post notification shout out to Jackie Torres, Ziggy Moon, and Buse Matula. So I will talk to y'all later. And I hope y'all stay blessed. Sit out. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Peace and be wild.